Now, I want to talk about trust in a slightly different, kind of slightly larger sense now. I've had incredible good fortune in my career to spend a lot of time working in South Africa, the most dizzyingly musical country on the planet. I had the opportunity back in 2000 to go out there and to basically assemble a brand new opera company. So I went right around the country, mainly to very rural township locations, and auditioned about 2,000 singers. And off the back of that, pulled together a company of 40 of the most amazingly talented young singer performers. Now picture this, in the very first 10 days of the first rehearsal period, a terrible fact emerged. One of the black community in our company recognized that one of the white members had in his previous career been a member of the South African Police Force. And indeed, in the last few years of apartheid, this guy had been routinely detailed to go into townships to aggress the local community. Now, can you imagine what that did to the temperature in the room and any sense of trust or the ability to make coherent work? A chasm as wide as the Grand Canyon opened up. And we were scratching our heads thinking, oh my god, we've blown it already, we haven't even started. Now, the way that we got over that fundamental problem, that flaw, was through singing. We sang, and we sang, and we sang. And after a handful of days, new bridges of trust started to grow. New brands brought bonds of friendship blossomed. And suddenly, this company became the most tight-knit group of individuals I've ever had the privilege to work with. Thank you.